Now originally I did have a little bit film for this part of the intro where I was actually doing a quick review on Mr. Braun. Now I still am going to show that video but I have a little disclaimer. They actually didn't allow me to film in there because of all privacy and all that stuff which I completely understand because when I was filming I made sure not to like film people and all this other stuff so my camera angle is very low but they did allow me to use the audio from it so I am going to have a massive blur and show you the video itself. All right guys, so here is a review that nobody asked for and this is Mr. Braun, which I'll be hanging out with for the next six hours. So if you guys don't know what this is, this is basically an IV dripper machine that will have a little pusher in there, like a ball pusher, to feed into my veins for infusion. So yeah, I'm gonna be hanging out with this guy for about six hours and if you guys aren't interested in purchasing one, this is retail for $19.85. It does include the power cord as well as this pole that you see over here and obviously the device and the owner's manual. So yes, if you guys are interested, you can purchase one. Now, one quick tip is when you are gonna be using one of these, I wouldn't recommend using the pole for leverage or pushing around because anytime there's no resistance on the floor and you're pushing it with the pole, there's a high chance that this will just topple over and it's not good. So I recommend using the handle instead. So yeah, that's my quick tip of the day. While this is unplugged from the wall, you do get about a three hour battery life. So if you're actually using the restroom for that long, there's probably something else wrong. So the three hour battery life for this is actually not too bad. And I thought it was a funny little bit that I put together just to show you guys where I'm at. I am doing some treatments and we are on a different treatment now. So I will actually be going more frequently. So depending on that, I'm not really sure how I will time everything with the channel, but I will try to get a video up every week like I usually do, depending on how I feel. Now, as far as my mental health goes, I think I'm at a very positive space in my head right now. I'm not thinking of you know, gloom and doom type stuff. I mean, sometimes it does hit you because there are certain things that occur that you're like, will I have time for that or etc, etc. But otherwise, I mean, I seem to be pretty good mentally along with keeping myself pretty occupied with life and stuff that I need to get done, like the YouTube channel and stuff. So it does help a lot when your mindscape is focused on a lot of other projects as well. But with that being said, there are some things that kind of like sit in the back of my head, like one big thing is you know when you get hurt or you sprain an ankle or something like that you know like not to walk on that ankle until it heals that's my biggest fear right now now because my cancer is all internal i don't really feel much of what's going on inside other than this cough that i get that reminds me that i have lung cancer um otherwise I get nervous on those parts where I know I have some cancer in my bone as well and I know not to lift heavy things because there's a possibility I might hurt my back or something like that. So those are all mental notes that I need to keep but without physically feeling the pain, which thank God I don't, those are the things I'm nervous about because I don't know when, I, when something's gonna happen. Otherwise, no, the biggest thing is not to, I guess, think about all the gloom and doom stuff but plan for it and then you'll be at a better mindscape. Yeah, having a lot of friends and family to help you out, that's another. Uh, the amount of stuff I put my wife through right now, I, I bet you it's driving her nuts more than it's driving me nuts. I do have a question for you guys. I uh, Now that I go to these treatments more often, I've been going from before, um, my biggest thing that I bring with me is my Steam Deck, which I don't even have one right now, but um, I want to see if you guys have any recommendations for any games. Nothing too long. Nothing like a 70 hour game or 25 hour game or something like that. Like my biggest problem is if I start a game and if I don't continue to play it, I'm not going to remember the storyline and I will just not pick it up like the game Nier Automata. I think I played the, the first stage to that, which is 2B, like three times and I still can't beat that game because I just can't sit long enough to play a 30 hour game. Same with Cyberpunk 2077. I've played I think halfway through a game twice and I can't, once I put it down I just can't pick it back up. I did recently beat the game Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles Shredder's Revenge because that was a five hour game so I could sit through those no problem and I enjoy it. The thing is it gives me a sense of accomplishment when I finish the game and if it's not that long. So with that being said. I am switching my device from playing Steam Deck over to one of those handhelds. I did reach out to ETA Prime for some suggestions because I need a device that actually sits more than two hours. Like the Steam Deck, two, three hours and it checks out because the battery doesn't run that long. So I need something that could at least last five to six hours so I could play through a game 
and he is going to send me a couple of devices so maybe in the future i'll review some of these if i get more along the line but uh, if you guys have any games that are for anything actually more retro i think retro games i'm gonna stick with some like earthworm gym or donkey kong or stuff like that that i could beat in one session versus 70 hour rpg final fantasy 7 or something like that because i can't sit through that anymore so if you guys have any game suggestions that are fun to play decent storyline short i would definitely be checking those things out and again i do want to thank ETA prime because he is going to send me a couple of devices so this way i have my hands on some without having to really actually purchase any. Last but not least, I do want to thank everybody who was helping me out on my last video, the donations and the super chats and everything. They help a lot. You can't imagine, like last month was a terrible month for me, but you can't imagine how much copay and all this other stuff you got to come up with and the gas money to travel. Like it's just, it, everything just adds up. Like there's days that I have to go like three appointments and that's copay after copay after copay. So it really does help, especially now that my source of income is YouTube and the more people who views my videos or donates or super chats, trust me, it helps a lot. Again, you don't have to, it does help, but it goes to show from the last video that the amounts that I do receive does go a long way for me. So I really do appreciate it and I thank everyone, each one of you who were helping me out. Again, I don't plan on starting a donation page or anything. It's, I think it's more of a hassle to get a donation page going. So if you see anything that has to do with donation to whatever, um it's not me because i'm not going to put one so if you do want to help it's going to be like either members here patreon or super chat those are the three that i'm kind of you would say accepting other than that i don't have any other like gofundme or anything i won't put those things up because it's just i feel like it's way more of a hassle to get it set up and for the payout for me it's even worse so it's like i don't want to put you guys through that and i don't want the stress of that either and again i'm not really asking for handouts or anything i just really just want to thank you guys for supporting me and with that being said Thanks for watching.